Hi, I'm Alvin and this is a progress report of my survival RPG map called Still Alive. Uh, if you haven't heard about it, you might want to check out my thread on the SC2 maps, the forums. Now I'll just show out the uh, new features I've implemented. Um, first of all, we have the stat system. Uh, we have sanity, health and satiety, which is the opposite of hunger. Uh, sanity is your mental health and you lose it by uh, being afraid of dark or by encountering monsters or other horrors and you gain it by standing in light uh, and faster if you are near allies which is other players so in a multiplayer game you want to stick around other players to not lose too much of your sanity and when sanity drops to zero you will become insane and get some nasty debuffs uh, then we have health which regenerates over time and the rate is based on your satiety so at full satiety your health regeneration is at max and when satiety drops to zero you become starved and begin to lose health so you don't want to get st uh, get starving and you want to find some food. Um, so here we have some uh, darkness and lights. I just try to get to a dark corner so I can show my buffs buff system. Okay, now we are in darkness. Uh, buffs are shown next to the a bar next to the status bar it belongs to so this darkness buff uh, decreases your sanity over time uh, so it's next to your sanity bar and when you get back to light it disappears and you start re regaining your sanity um, yeah then we have the inventory and item system here we have some test items which can be used to restore your satiety eaten uh, so inventory is here at the bottom I can select items drop them and use them by double clicking or by using the use item ability and those items restore my satiety so I don't I don't starve so quickly and then we have the uh, makings of a crafting UI uh, it's not ready uh, but it has the uh, it has the crafting list of patterns uh, this list will have only the patterns you can craft with the items currently in your inventory so it won't get this long easily uh, let's say a barricade can be crafted by two metal plates uh, you will have the barricade pattern here you click on it and this top part of the UI will show the items required for the barricade let's say two metal plates and then you just press C which is the craft ability and the metal plates disappear from your inventory and the barricade is put there um, this number here shows the number of patterns you can currently make so you don't have to constantly keep checking the list to see if there are any anything you can craft and one last thing is the chase AI of the monsters. Let's find a monster. Here's a monster. Uh, there's a threat system which uh, means that the character generates threat for the monster by being in its vision. And after a certain threshold the monster starts following the player and will follow for a few seconds 
if it doesn't see the player and if I manage to run far enough from the monster without it seeing me it will forget where I am but if I don't run fast enough it will just keep following me and kill me eventually there it comes but anyways here are the features I've implemented uh, in the past three days I think and I'll keep adding more so thanks for, for watching